All right, Todd's back for a look at the forecast on this Tuesday. What is going on, sir? Uh, just trying to get arranged in the basement once again and get my bearings. So there'll probably be some bumps in the road here as we <laughs> go forward today. But, you know, so far so good. Got all the lights up and the cameras and all the wires are all over the place again. So thankfully it looks like a pretty quiet week, albeit cold. Have a look at some of the temperatures that are out there right now. We do have several spots that are in the 20s, like Bangor at 27 and Portland at 27 degrees. There is a breeze, and it is going to be windier than yesterday. And as you factor in wind gusts, some of the wind chills already are in the teens, and they're not going to move much throughout the day. So dress warmly and dress in layers. Use the winter gear. There's actually a large storm out in the open water right now. It's as large and powerful as the one we had over the weekend, it's just not as close. So we're only going to see a few clouds from it today. In general, high pressures around keeping us mainly dry. Although there is a warm front out here, and this warm front is going to give us some snow showers tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, into Thursday morning. I don't expect much in the way of accumulation, but there could be some scattered coatings around. Uh, this morning, we're going to have mainly cloudy skies. Watch out for some fresh, icy spots. I know there wasn't much melting yesterday, but a little bit, and therefore it's refrozen, and it could be a little slick as you're walking around town or walking on the sidewalks or getting to your car this morning. Middle of the day, the clouds still dominate. That wind will have it feeling pretty cold, like teens and 20s, even though our temperatures reach the mid-30s. And here's the evening. Those clouds thin enough for some filtered sun and probably some great color at sunset and then the wind settles down and our temps go into the teens again later on tonight here's a look at the highs today normally we get up to about 40 this time of the year we're going to come up short today most end up in the low to mid 30s up in the mountains and across the far north we're looking at upper 20s for high temperatures now tomorrow that warm front will be approaching so we're again going to have mostly cloudy skies and then late in the day, we'll have some snow showers and flurries move through. Again, not a big deal. That moves offshore, and another little bubble of high pressure works in for the end of the week. And not only will we have more sunshine to finish the week, but it is going to turn a little milder. Mild enough so that as the next storm system arrives and moves through, we're actually going to see more rain than any kind of snow or icy precipitation. Now this is tomorrow night with those snow showers and flurries again, some scattered coatings, most likely up in the mountains. Over the weekend, the storm is actually trending colder and I'm a little more concerned for maybe ice and not as much snow as this particular model is showing inland. And then at the coast, there might be a little bit of a glaze or maybe a little bit of a burst of snow at the start, but mostly rain. So we're gonna have to keep an eye closely on this as we're heading into the weekend. It doesn't look like a huge storm, but any type of ice and or snow combination could lead to some slick travel here, especially on Sunday. Small crafts are up today, seas two to four feet, and winds are out of the north today, and they're going to be a little gusty. So here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Today, mostly cloudy skies, breezy and cold, highs 30 to 35. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy with some afternoon snow showers, 30 to 35. Hanukkah begins on Thursday. Not a bad one. We'll clear out with some sunshine. And again, it turns a little milder late in the week, 44 on Friday, bright there too. And then over the weekend, that's what we'll be watching. Saturday, quiet until the evening when we get a rain or snow shower. And then it's really Saturday night and Sunday. Sunday's the daily where it could be pretty icy inland and rainy at the coastline. That's kind of how I see it right now, but we'll see how it plays out. Another day to have to stay home and watch football. All right, sir.